Okay, what I'm going to do now is apply a, uh, a grip surface to the path. So you need a, um, a level, semi-finished uh, surface like this. Or you can go to uh, your hardware shop and uh, find large pavers like that. So that's what it'll uh, turn out like. Just a, a rough texture. Um, this path was mixed up similar to a screed, a bathroom screed, so it was mixed up fairly dry and uh, just laid down. As it dried I ran a broom diagonally across it and uh, that's why it's, uh, it's not smooth. It's an outside path and moss and, uh, and dirt gets on it and uh, it needs some grip so I mix up some cement and uh, just apply it by hand and uh, that's what I do to, uh, to get grip on a path. The path has to be clean, um, you can hose it off if it's new or you can get a high pressure cleaner and, uh, and clean it up. That's the leftovers from uh, yesterday. About half a bag. So it's mixed about 50-50. Uh, 50 sand, 50 cement. Okay, it's fairly important that the path is, uh, is moist, so I'll wet it down with a hose. Okay, uh, the path is water soaked. Get rid of any uh, any pools of water.
Okay, what happened there was uh, the consistency of the uh, cement changed, so I just added some water. Okay, if you put um, cement onto a screeded floor like this, it will absorb the, uh, the cement, and you have to uh, add water on top of the uh, on top of the path until you get a, a watery, non-bonded um, uh, on the uh, on the path. So that is to say that the cement's not bonded to the path because of uh, moisture absorption. So to demonstrate what I mean, um, I'm just going to add water and uh, break up the bond between the, uh, the cement and the path. Okay, the path is now um, absorbing the moisture from the cement and uh, so I'll just keep on working it with water until it, uh, the bond is broken. Okay, it's starting to beat up. You can see it maybe at the end there. So I'll just apply more water. So 
So now all the uh, cement's on and I'll work it as uh, one piece. Okay, I'll now finish it off. It's uh, it's not easy work. It's uh, very difficult. I've just come to see how I'm going. Okay, on a difficult difficulty racing from um, 0 to 10, I put this at a 10 because uh, the screed underneath keeps on absorbing the moisture from the, uh, from the cement. Okay, the work's done now, so I'll just tidy up the edge.
Okay, um, I'll let that go off a bit and I'll get a trail and I'll just put it down on the, uh, the path gently just so that there's nothing to, uh, no high ridges to catch uh, a shoe or a foot. I wouldn't recommend uh, a big path but just a little section like this that's just manageable. Those small pavers would be uh, fairly easy to manage but this uh, just with the suction effect from the, uh, the screed below it, uh, it makes it fairly difficult. Okay, this is a good opportunity to wash down any tools, uh, wheelbarrows, uh, hoses, etc. Okay, it's summer. It's, uh, it's been sitting there for about an hour to an hour and a half. I've got a plastic float and uh, I'm just going to push down on any high lumps. Okay, so I'll do that throughout the whole uh, path. Don't let the uh, plastic trowel get too uh, too wet. Just wipe it on your jeans and uh, and keep it dry. If the trowel gets wet uh, or tacky, it'll actually remove the, uh, the cement. So. I can't uh, recommend uh, this technique because of its difficulty rating. Um, I'd recommend that uh, a, a cementer do this, but uh, anyway, it's a bit difficult. Um, I think that uh, the finished product looks pretty good, and uh, we'll come back to it tomorrow when it's dry. Okay, so finishing remarks with, uh, with this uh, part of um, the paving here. Um, I was going to uh, work it a bit more. I was going to um, mix up a batch of uh, cement with um, uh, small chips of bluestone. I was going to smooth it off. I was going to lay the um, cement and uh, small chips of bluestone down. I was going to get a, um, a hose and just hose off the top of the, uh, the cement so that the blue chips came through and gave grip. But um, this is very popular with, uh, with my mum. She likes the, uh, the style. Um, it will um, need a bit of maintenance in that uh, I'll have to get a high pressure cleaner and just uh, clean it up from time to time but uh, yeah it's certainly got a nice effect to it and uh, we'll call it a video. Um, in conclusion um, once more I'd just like to say that uh, if I could do this job again I just would have done it the, uh, the easy way and just mix up um, sand and cement Wait for it to nearly go off so that it's got a sort of a shine on the top. At the end of the day, just drag the broom across carefully and, uh, and that's how I would have done it.